Hello students, let's continue with the topic of squares and square roots. Today we are going to discuss the square root of decimal numbers. Look at the decimal number 17.64. In 17.64, 17 is an integral part and 64 is the decimal part. Now let's try to find out the square root of 17.64. This includes some steps, and let's take a look at the following steps. Step 1. To find the square root of a decimal number, place a bar over every pair of integral parts, starting from the digit at 1's place, and place bars on the decimal part on every pair of digits, beginning with the first decimal place. Step 2. Find the largest number, whose square is less than, or equal to the number, under the leftmost bar, as the dividend. Take this number as divisor, and quotient. Here, 16 is the largest square number less than 17. That is 4 is the largest number, whose square is less than 17. Here 4 is the divisor and the quotient. Divide and get the remainder, we get 1 as the remainder. Step 3. Bring down the numbers, under the next bar, to the right of this remainder, we get 164. Step 4. In order to determine the next divisor, double the quotient and enter it with a blank space on its right. Since 64 is the decimal part, so put a decimal point in the quotient. Step 5. Find the largest possible digit to fill the blank, which will also become the new digit in the quotient, such that when the new divisor is multiplied with the new quotient, the product is less than or equal to the dividend. That is, 81 multiplied by 1 equals 81. 82 multiplied by 2 equals 164. Thus, we choose the new digit as 2. Divide and get the remainder. Step 6. Since the remainder is 0 and no bar left, the square root of 17.64 equals 4.2. Let's move on to another example. Find the square root of 7.29. Put the bar on 7 and 29. Here, 4 is the largest square number less than 7. That is 2 is the largest number whose square is less than 7. Here, 2 is the divisor and quotient. Divide and get the remainder. The remainder is 3 and put down the next bar, that is, 2 9 to the right of 3, to get 329. Double of 2, that is 4, enter with a blank on its right. Put a decimal point in the quotient. Here we consider 47 multiplied by 7 equals 329. Thus, we get the square root of 7.29 equals 2.7. Let's recall what we learn. Today, we discussed how to find the square root of decimal numbers. Before winding up, I will give an activity. Find the square root of 12.25. With squares and square roots, 
We will see you all in the next class with another interesting chapter.